Hello, welcome to Graphic Converter, a Swiss Army knife for pictures. In this video we would like to give you an overview on what Graphic Converter can do. Let's first drag a folder onto the Graphic Converter program icon. A browser window opens and you see all the pictures and thumbnails which you can zoom with this slider. The browser is the central for our further work. Double click a picture to open it. Now you can use all the filters and functions from the menus to increase contrast, for example. Or you can open the operator with the most common controls to optimize the picture. If you want to change the format of the picture, simply use Save As and select a format from the pop-up menu in the file selector box. Show All adds all formats when you reopen the pop-up menu. Many more functions are available from the toolbar at the top of the browser. The Batch and Format pop-up menu is great if you need to change a bunch of pictures in one go. First we select PNG as the new format. The pictures will be saved to a subfolder which will be created automatically. Choose one of the other options to save to the same folder or to get the file selector to create or find another folder. Now let's define a simple batch to scale down the pictures to 800 pixels at the longer edge. Double click the batch action to add it. Then enter the value. A little bit of sharpening always is good after scaling down. So we add the batch action unsharp mask. For a picture of 800 pixels only we enter a small value like 20. A feature often needed is the watermark. So we add a text as a watermark with the insert text batch. Let us enter my company for example. You can also insert an image such as your logo with opacity. Simply add the insert image batch action and select the logo image file. As the alignment we choose center of the image and save this batch with the name 800 pixels sharp logo. From now on we can use it. Now we select the pictures we want to process and click Convert. After a few seconds the converted pictures appear in the destination folder, much smaller and with a watermark. For more overview you can open the Convert and Modify window which offers more space for batches and shows the source in the destination folder in columns. Many more batch actions are at hand to help you do literally everything with your pictures you can imagine. Even if conditions etc. can be defined. Many more special features are available from the pop-up menu name function. Looks complicated? It is not. Simply give it a try. If you run into problems you can find help directly from us or from our users group you can join via our website. Let's go ahead and check out the slideshow many users love for presentations and also for sorting and working on the files. In the preferences you find all settings for a slideshow you could ever dream of. Do you want to display the file name in the corner or to show the next picture on a second screen? It's all there. I start the slideshow by clicking the icon. Move the mouse to the top of the screen to show the tools. Moving the mouse displays the controls for pause, etc. Graphic Converter is powerful for manipulating metadata. The functions are in the context menu and in the menu bar too for faster access. One example. Coming home from vacation, you find your pictures all have the wrong time in the EXIF information. Graphic Converter can correct that for you in the blink of an eye. Select the pictures and choose Shift the EXIF timestamp from the camera menu. Enter for example a minus 5 in the entry field hours to set back the EXIF timestamp for 5 hours. Keywords are another big thing for many users. To apply keywords open the keywords palette from the window menu. It is so handy to enter a keyword like for example leave to get all pictures that have the keyword leave in the RPTC metadata. Click the words you want to apply and you are done. Of course you can edit the list of keywords and the words in every picture file. By the way, 
IPTC keywords are fully compatible with the Spotlight Search in the Finder, with Photoshop and other database programs. Renaming files. Who would not have needed this function before? And it is so easy. Select the pictures in the browser and select Rename from the context menu. The best thing in this dialog is the preview for the files so you see the result before you start the rename process. Even better is the enormous range of functions in the seven tabs. There is almost nothing you could not do with this function. Change the name, add the EXIF date and position it behind the new name. All that is just a few clicks away.